This is Vaka Seven Vasir from Vasir Host. Today we will learn how to install cPanel with MariaDB. Normally we install a cPanel server with MySQL database. We have purchased an account VPS uh, from Vasir Host. So after you purchase a VPS server from Vasir Host. Or anywhere else you need to go to the Vasir host and then click on login and then we will put our email ID and our password and then click on login so here is our dashboard we can see we have our one service active so let's click on it if we scroll down we can see power panel is loading we can power on off our server or even reboot our server and Mm, we need our server IP address we can copy it and now we will open terminal or if you are a window user you can use booty software so let's SSH to our server SSH root at server IP and then hit click click enter and then press yes type yes and now we need to put our password we can copy it from our dashboard and then go back to the server and put the password uh, uh, whenever you buy a new server from a zero you need to type uh, you need to change your root password at first login So our password is changed successfully now we will again SSH to the server and we will type our new password so you can see our server is now accessible now let's check the OS and you can see our host name uh, this is the OS Alma Linux 8.9 and this is Linux and other architecture so let's proceed to the installation so we have prepared a document for you so you can see uh, I will also attach it with in the video description so first of all we need to update the server for that we need to type yum update command so it's loading the libraries after that we need to create a cpanel profile directory in the root and um, it's found some new update so click yes we need to create a cpanel directory a cpanel profile directory in the root for that we need to first go to the root directory uh, by cd root and then we need to create a directory with this command mkdir after that we will create a cpanel config file inside this cpanel profile directory so where we can tool the insta cpanel installation command uh, which mysql uh, uh, version you should proceed with the installation so let's wait until the update finished So we can see it's successfully updated so now let's start with this mm, 
now we will type cd slash root and then we will make a directory mkdir cpanel profile and now let's go to the cpanel profile folder now we will create a cpanel config file for that we need to type touch and then file name and it's created we can verify with the ls command so now we will open this with vi vi command so put vi and then file name and it's open inside this file we need to paste this mysql version is equal to 10.6 or you can choose your desired version like uh, you can choose something like 10.3 but today we are going with the 10.6 which is the latest long time long time support version then type uh, press escape and then type semicolon and wq and our file is ready then we will go back to the root directory cd slash as uh, it is the third step is to disable the os firewall because we don't need uh, alma linux os firewall in the cpanel so we can disable it by this command and then <clears throat> we need to stop the firewall services uh, uh, we already disable it so it's say uh, and this is not found so now we disable it so it's again say it does not ex exist that means it's not loaded so the next step is disable sc linux but you can skip it or but let's open it you can see in this file first of all you can see sc linux is permissive we need to disable it for that press i and then get to and go to this line and it is it and type disabled and then exit now proceed to the next step which is installing Perl by this command hit yes uh, the next step is to install the curl you can copy and paste this command So it's completed now we should type current command and it says it's already exist already installed the next step is add host name we can skip this and we can add this later after that the our final step is to install the cpanel for that we need to go to the cd slash home or you can skip this step just copy this command and paste it here and now the cpanel installation begin it can take up to two hours it totally depends on the your internet speed your server internet speed and your server architect uh, how many cpu and how fast your server is so let's wait until it's finished 
after that drop the next step uh, after uh, completing the cpan installation we have a few more steps and that's it Uh, you can see our cPanel is installing with the MoriaDB. okay our server is successfully installed you can see congratulations your installation of cpanel and whm 11.116 is now complete so we can verify or access our server with this url and before we access our server in the browser uh, we need to enable the network manager for that you can go to root and then type this command and then Uh, now we can see uh, either our server is installed with MySQL or MariaDB. So let's check the status of the database. For that, you can run systemctl status MariaDB. You can see MariaDB is up and running. It's active. It's installed eight minutes ago, and you can see MariaDB 10.6.16 is installed. Hopefully, you will learn. And if you face any problem, you can uh, contact us. You can contact us on live chat or from the C host portal or by going to the main website click on live chat 
and the next update and you can type your query or you can directly call us at this number or you can also whatsapp us on this number or furthermore you can reach us with email you can send us an email thank you take care bye bye